Now in this session we will be learning how to make the reports and also the mesh optimization. Now in the previous section we made the fluid domain. Now for making the mesh you can either make it in the container new and mesh container or go to geometry operation new operation mesh and automated mesh. In the automated mesh, select subtract, select surface remeasure, automatic surface remeasure, then trimmed cells and prism layer measure and select OK. Now after, after that, go to automated mesh, default control, set the base size as 100 mm and minimum surface size absolute and set as 30 mm increase the number of prism layers to 5 and do the surface mesh the first thing that we will be doing is optimizing the surface mesh once the surface mesh is generated, go to Scenes, Mesh. Here you can see the surface mesh is generated. Now the surface mesh that is generated is improper because it is not following the guide curves and properly of the underbody geometry. So we would remesh the surface by using the custom controls in custom controls go to surface controls in surface control input the part as the faces of the underbody now the underbody faces are selected now in controls select the target surface size as custom minimum surface size as custom the target surface size is the maximum size of the element that the geometry can have and the minimum size is the smallest element size that the geometry can have also in the prism cells make it custom and we will be customizing the number of prism layers and the total thickness of it so now go to values target set the target surface size as absolute and Input the value as 20 mm and the minimum surface size absolute and set the surface size as 1 mm. For the custom prism values, number of prism layers set as 15 and the prism layer total thickness set as 2 mm. And Regenerate the surface mesh. Now the surface mesh as per the input is created. Now you can see that the curves are properly followed using the surface mesh. Now as the surface mesh is properly optimized, now create the volume mesh by generating the volume mesh option. Now the volume mesh is generated. You can see the volume mesh by going to scenes, mesh. Now the trim cells volume mesh is done. So you can see that the volume mesh that is generated is quite improper. And here are the prism layers that are adjoining the ground. If you want to see the prism layers properly, then go to scenes, open scalar, go to scenes plot, add the geometry and select the function as prism layer cells. Now the, the region with the red color is a prism layers. 
So now you can see that there are no prism layers generated on the surface of the underbody. Now the possible error is that the prism layer thickness is quite small to generate the prism layers. If now we will increase the prism layer total thickness to about 5 mm and see whether the prism layers are generated. Now you can see the underbody is covered with the prism layer. This was by increasing the total prism layer thickness. We can see the prism layers over here. So these are the 10 prism layers that we have given. But yet the volume mesh is quite improper because of such irregularities. So for that we would be creating a custom volume control. So for making a custom volume control first we need to make a 3D block. So go to block and snap to part under body and select ok now similarly as we are doing on the symmetry plane select us at 0 the right height and a little in the back little in the front and little on the side and create the block Assign the block in the custom control new volumetric control. In the volumetric control assign the part as block 2 and in the controls customize size and the trimmer select customize isotropic size. In the values with the custom value so and this has 20 mm. This would be enough. After giving the 20 mm, run the generate the volume mesh again. Now, after giving the custom volumetric controls in the and also in the isometric clip the volume mesh is created properly and the curves are also followed properly so the mesh optimization is now complete after this we need to create the reports so right click on report new reports and go to force we need to create a report for down force and drag so we name it as down force and another report for drag so the down force would be in the negative y direction And the drag would be in the positive z direction. Okay. Down force to get the value is positive and negative. Okay. Now, if you want to create the plots of these then select both of them and simultaneously right click on them and create monitor and plot from the report if you want to create a multiple plot that is the downforce versus the iteration on this on a single plot 
then create multiple props and if you want to create put the down force on drag on a single plot then select the single plot okay. once this is done the setup of the whole analysis is done now you can run the analysis in the next part we will see how to load the results